Hi there, I'm Sarah Henson. I'm an email copywriter and strategist for e-commerce uh, business owners. And I'm also a bit of a tech geek, which is why I am recording this video to show you how to set up a customer survey using your Google Forms. Now, whenever you're writing copy, you want to be able to um, really connect with your audience, your customers, to be able to help them move towards a decision to buy your products. And the best way of doing this is really by reading their mind and using the words that come out of their mouth when they're describing their situation, their problem, so that you can really speak to their emotions, their motivations, and really convince them that your solution, your product is the best thing for them to buy. So to do this is to do in-depth customer research. Now I've got a blog post all about um, ways to uh, do your customer research, which I'll link below. Um, and today I'm going to show in the, you in this video how to create a Google form so that you can send out as a survey. There's an easy way to do it and it's free. And if you use Google like I do, you'll love it because it all integrates with your Google Drive and everything like that. And it makes it so much easier to organize your content, organize your responses and things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to create a Google form. So if you use Google Chrome browser, then you'll be logged into your Google account. So this is my Google account with my avatar up here. Now what you wanna do is hover over this little grid here, which opens the apps and then scroll down to find the little purple Google forms here. And that will open up your Google Drive in the forms section and then you'll see all of my forms that I have here. You wanna select the blank form so that you can start a new one. And this brings you to this page here. Now, the first thing you want to do is brand it to your, um, to your branding colors. So we choose this little customized theme color palette here, click that, and you'll see you can choose a theme color, whatever goes with your uh, branding, you can go for something very basic like a grey, or you can actually use your own custom colours by adding a custom colour in here and adding in your brand colours. You can also add a, a header image up here, so let's choose an image. You can upload your own, but I'm just going to select one of the ones that they have in there and you'll see that that comes up at the top. So that's just one of the ways to brand it. Now, next one, you wanna name your form. And then just click in the top left here so that it takes that name and puts it as the file name. And then you, you wanna go ahead and create your questions. So already a question is in here. So if you click on that, you'll see that you can actually choose what kind of question it is. It could be a short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, a drop down. So you can just go through each of these depending on what you want to ask your customers. Um, whether you want them to uh, actually write their own words, you'll be using these ones here. If it's mainly um, their opinion on something, you'll want multiple choices. You can also add in um, images into this box. So if you want their opinion on it, on a brand image or something like that, which looks more enticing, you could put the image in there and then give them the multiple choice to answer there. There's also the option on the right hand side here to add in sections. So you can, this bit here, which is already in here, this is a title. So you can add another section, which is a title and description. You can add in an image or a video, or you can create a new section. Now these are really handy if you've got quite a lot of questions that um, fit into different categories so it might be about them and then you might have another thing about what they think of your products so you can actually have those in two sections so when they are actually um, going through the survey it will come up as like a page of questions and then they submit that page and go to the next section and I'll show you how how that will look when uh, when we um, preview it up here so let's just go ahead and um, and put a few questions in. Option one, add another option. Option two, okay, let's press the little plus button, brings another one in. Let's do a paragraph there. Let's put a new section in so that we've got an, a new title come up. Title two, and let's just put question three. This is just to give you an idea of how it all works. 
uh, we can do a linear scale. Let's do one to 10. And so, not good, great. Okay, so that's, let's say that's our um, questionnaire. What you might want to do at the end is add in a little image. What I like to do is um, put in a logo of my own brand. So what I did in Canva, I created this little um, image here just to say thank you. So I'm just going to download that to my computer. And this image that I'm using here is um, 500 by 200, I believe. Yeah, there it is, 500 by 200. And that gives a nice size for the bottom of the Google form. So let's just drag that into here. And that just finishes off the, the survey quite nicely at the bottom like that. And I don't, uh, we put that as a center aligned and I don't bother putting any title to the image. Now, here's our Google form. Let's have a look at what that looks like from the customer's point of view. We press preview here. And so you see, this is what they see in the first bit. Remember where I put a new section in, so we go to the next section and that'll bring up the next section. Title two, oh yes. So we, we still have to name it here at the top so we can add in a different um, title section there. But this'll be um, section two. As, as you see, that's a, a linear scale that people can select. Okay, and then they get the submit form uh, button at the bottom there. So let's go back to our Google form. Once we've got all that and we're happy with how it looks, we just go to settings just to make sure we've got everything set up how we want it. So to start with, if you want to collect your customers' email addresses so you can contact them again in the future, or if you're running like a giveaway for um, people who have um, given their responses, you need to click this button here. Um, and that automatically puts in um, a field at the start of the questionnaire so that they have to put their email address in. And if you'd like your uh, customers to receive um, the responses that they put in, which is quite handy. Sometimes they like to see what they've written. You can add that. You can obviously, if they request it or always, which I, I like to always. I uncheck this because I want to make sure when I share it, anyone can actually view it. Uh, otherwise, it's just restricted to people in my organization, which at the moment is just me, one. Um, and then if you want people to be able to go back to it and edit their response, then you can add a checkbox there. I never do the C summary charts because um, that's, they, they then see, your customers then see other people's responses, not the specific ones, but like uh, the percentages or if there's like, um, you know, the linear scales or the yes, no answers, they can see charts and that. So this is how I generally do it. Presentation is very um, obvious what this is, is. You can have a progress bar so they know how far they've gone. Sometimes I don't do that, especially if it's quite a long survey because otherwise they, uh, they may see that they're only a part way through and give up. Shuffle the questions if you want them to just be random. And if, they, if, they wanna, if you want them to be able to do another response, then you click that, but I, I like to have that off. Um, you can, once they've submitted, you can put thank you. Yeah. You can also turn this into a quiz if you want by selecting that. Um, so if I just save that, you'll see these come up here. When I select my question, I put the answer key in here and then I can assign points to the questions and then give some feedback when people have um, submitted that answer but as a survey for e-commerce you won't be needing to do that so that was just a quick um, a way of showing you how that works so let's just save it as a non-quiz and that will take that off. Next thing you want to do is look to the responses so these are the questions and then when people start filling them in you'll be able to see your responses when you come to your Google form. Now Sometimes it's good to have it in a Google spreadsheet. So what you can do, you can click that, create a spreadsheet and it will automatically create a new spreadsheet here. Ask question. Okay, and then it'll create me a little spreadsheet in my Google Drive and it will, as you see, 
it has the question one, two, three, and the email address because I selected that. And that saves it in the same place as your Google form is it in as well. Okay, so we've got all of that set up. Once you're completely happy with that, what you want to do is send this to someone. So you can either send it directly to someone, but if you're actually surveying your customers on your um, email list, then you'll want to have a link that people can use. So you press link and you get this long link here, which you can hyperlink in an email if you send it to them. You can shorten it if you want to that. And you can even use this link on social media to um, ask your uh, audience who are on either Instagram, Facebook or Twitter to fill out your survey. So you just copy that and then add that to your email um, so that people can um, respond to your survey. Here we have uh, embed code. If you wanted to do this on your website, you can do that. So you can just copy this, copy this um, code and embed it in your website. And then when people start responding, all you go is go to here or go to your spreadsheet that you've already had and you'll see all the responses coming in here. And that's how you set up a customer survey using a Google form. If you have any questions about that, please do um, contact me by sending an email to hello at sarahhenson.co.uk. I'm happy to answer any questions about using Google Forms or Google because uh, I use my G Suite in my business and I'm it's basically the backbone of my business and how I use it. So it's a great way to keep your business organized. So if you have any questions to do with Google, let me know and I'll try and uh, give you a response or even do a tutorial on it as well. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see and hear about more tips, tricks and hacks to help you with your emails, your copywriting and the tech that connects it all, then please, please hit the bell below and subscribe to my channel to get notified of all the videos that I release on this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.